Hey folks, Jay Barino here with Deltron Live. Hello. We are continuing our Rock the Cabinet 2017 co-op edition. Playthroughs, tests, playthroughs, showcases, what have you. This is Burning Swarm created by Violet Iyer. Amon is creating a new hybrid, hybrid Kronos to bring Zerg Swarm to Char under its control. Four Towers of the Void are supplying Void Energy to Kronos, getting stronger. Your main objective is to destroy all of the towers and kill Kronos. Okay. Seems pretty straightforward. Kill Kronos. Yeah. Kill the <laughs> objectives and then defeat a boss. So. Mm -hmm. Kill Hybrid Kronos before overloaded. Destroy Towers of the Void to weaken. Complete the mission before Amon fully dominates Char. Cool. I like this loading screen, too. A very cool image. So we'll see what Kronos is all about. The Kronos with a K seems really familiar to me, like it's from something else, but I don't, I, it's not clicking with what it is, but I've yeah. definitely seen that from somewhere. Yeah, I can't put a, uh, my mind on it. We need All right, so we're on Char. I don't think we've had any co-op missions on, on Char, Char, but we, ha I mean, the Vermilion problem is volcano, volcanic, <laughs> lava. Thank you for responding to our call. It seems Amon is creating new hybrid Kronos. To bring Zerg Swarm under its control. No more minerals. Four towers of void are supplying void energy to Kronos, getting stronger. Your main objective is to destroy all of towers and kill Kronos. Okay. So I'm sure those are just like placeholder. Yeah, so we had some text to speech yeah. there, which. Yeah. You know, it's, that's fine. It's fine. I mean, Blizzard's going to be adding their own voice acting to these maps. You know, I part, so. for the longest time I say don't worry about voice acting. Uh, voice acting is it's a luxury. But on the co-op maps, and I'm not saying that you know to to contend no, 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 in no. in Rock the Cabinet you need voice acting. But I will say is it's nice because you get those audible alerts. You don't have mm -hmm. to read the text that's telling you go do this right now right. or something. You know, especially the first hey, you time you need to do this within 30 seconds. You're gonna lose kind of thing. Yeah. Especially if you're playing the map for the first time as we are. So. Yeah. So we have 30 minutes, I notice. 30 minutes, kill hybrid total. For destroy towers, complete the mission. Uh, maybe change the objectives. The orange on the, the lava can be a little hard to read. Or that just might might just be me, but. Are they always that color? Yeah, I think they're normally white. Yeah, some, they're, they're kind of a light blue there. I don't think that's normal. Someone's gonna come and be like, no, they're always like that. You guys are, <laughs> you guys are fools. <laughs> yeah, I do wanna seems different yeah just give a quick shout out to all the you know the other co-op map makers that are watching our videos and commenting on other people's submissions and giving them feedback directly it's, it's awesome to see i mean considering that i mean they're your direct composition uh competition <laughs> so yeah i was thinking that too everyone has a good spirit about mm -hmm. this in general which, which, is, which i'm which very awesome, happy awesome to see so it would be really disheartening and it would make me not really want to showcase someone's map if they were mean-spirited about mm -hmm. others Prepare to intercept. all right okay so we are playing on hard there was a difficulty selection for this one yes i'm a little nervous about it <laughs> 30 minutes it's not enough time man i need at least 35. Overlords required. kerrigan will be out but they are attacking. Oh, our bases are very close to each other. And you have you have mm. your own units, so. Zerg Alright, Zerglings. I'm assuming you got that. They just ran by my zealots and tried to attack my uh my poor okay. dragoons instead. I'm gonna send poor Kerrigan guys. out to I didn't need that. <laughs> to our base. Oh yeah, I suppose we should check the expansions. It's always a toss-up on whether your expansions will be wide open or not. They're not. Not too much. Okay, I'll send some, some units. Some Zerglings. Cool. I'll be honest, Artanis is my my clear favorite of the three commanders that we have available. <laughs> I would have to say that too. <laughs> so we're gonna be fighting over them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, dibs every time, Artanis every time. <laughs> no, we're trying to, we're trying to mix it up. So. No, I just called Artanis. <laughs> <laughs> you may not use him. Oh, if you look on the top right, you can actually see Kronos. Yeah, I noticed it says he's preparing. I wonder if this is going to function like that Nova mission, the last Nova mission where it does come out and attack you even before you 
even He's before fully... you're ready because it says first Kronos is preparing so there may be multiple Stand against him. Yep. Yeah, see, I think it's gonna, it, just like that, that Nova mission, where the, I don't remember what it's called, but that thing comes out and attacks you every so often. Seems like a really cool concept. So you are in direct contact with the boss, and it just gets stronger and stronger yes. and stronger, and you have to take out those towers, otherwise... Uh -huh. You know what I'm realizing now? Maybe we need to go and destroy a tower Early before... On. Alert. Class 25 psionic waveform oh. detected. Oh, you can actually see his... Uh... Oh god, I hope it's not invulnerable Speak. before we destroy the towers. Uh, he it's has like, armor crash. Which you can disarm. Where's he going? He's going to the... Oh, I see. Okay, he is attackable. That's good. He goes down. Oh, he gains different abilities. I like that you can see what abilities he currently has. Firestorm? Oh, and it changes. It changes pretty frequently, too. Well, we summon some... Whoa! You should clear main objective before Kronos revives again. <laughs> yes, we should. I noticed the uh, armor crash, void magic Explain. guard. His abilities are still stuck in the middle of them. Still on the screen. Yeah. 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 Got to get those out of there. <clears throat> Not a big deal, but. Not a big deal, but fix it now. <laughs> Uh, lots of stuff. We're gonna need detection. Oh, there's a lot of stuff up there. I have solar bombardment to use. All right, up there. You want to use it? Boosh! Nice. Get rid of those stupid ass lurkers. They're not stupid. They're very effective defensive units. Apologies. Um, I can make an observer here. Our allies are in combat. Not enough Vespine. Make it. Okay, they, they are hybrid, considering we're fighting a giant hybrid. So. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're trying to defend their, their buddy, right? Yeah. So there's lurkers, like, everywhere, just to make sure that you have detection, I suppose. Incubating Zerg swarms to face Aemon is in danger. Please keep the eggs as many as possible if you have a time. Okay. And I always point this out because I understand it's a bit of an elephant in the room just because there are uh, viewers out there that lack the tact to not say, oh, the grammar's all messed up. We know. I, it implies that the creator is not a native English speaker, and that's fine. That really should never, that should never really impact, in my opinion, how you would judge a map. Mm -hmm. yep. That's just my opinion, but... Prepare your air defense. We need more okay, so a lot's happening right now. We've got overlords incoming and the bonus objective. There's eggs somewhere. And I didn't quite catch where they are. Oh, I see. Ah, yeah, I see. There's the, overlords going to the eggs. So it all kind of fits. Yeah. Our allies I see. Well, I have vision, so I can make units defend. over here. I will... I can do a uh, nice one as well. I'm a little, oh good, I was going to say, I'm a little nervous I'm going to get stuck over here. <laughs> okay, here comes the overlords. T two overlords, not not bad. Not bad. So I mean, you could kill them before they drop. Oh, they're dropping oh, a lot God. of, yep. <laughs> a lot of zerglings, though. Nice. That's good. So what does, does that mean he won't spawn again, or perhaps he, he just won't spawn as strong? Or it's possible that if you don't do that in between each wave, he literally is unkillable. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Our allies are in There's no way to know. Yes. Oh, and you soon. did point out... Apologies to whichever Not map it was that I made this comment on, but those that Reaver upgrade, it's just the thing with the co-op dependency. It's just never there. Yeah, with the latest patch, it's, it's bugged, so... It is just never there. I, I made the mistake of, of saying it was a mistake on a map. That's not the case. Never listen to me. It's important to learn okay. to critically think on your own. Class 25 Sidonic waveform detected. All right, here he comes again. Has returned. Yeah. And we've got enemies going either Frix, the expansion, or the eggs. It's, it's the expansion. Looks like he's coming down this side now. 
Fuck everything about the mass scourge wave. <laughs> I hate the scourge. Alright, I'm gonna use uh, overcharge. So he's getting. He's gonna use that blast ability, it looks like. Yeah. Oh, there's it's, it's a, Oh, God. What is that? Oh, my God, what is that? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm guessing we have to kill that. <laughs> Kerrigan, <What the> Kerrigan <laughs> died. What was that? I don't know, she's alive. No, she's like... I don't know what happened. That was strange. That was interesting. It is getting more difficult to deal with it. You need to hurry. Okay. Let's go for this one. One of my concerns <laughs> is that the... Um, the... The guys got a lot of abilities and they change a lot, so it's hard yes. to kind of keep track of them. They do disappear off the screen after a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. But yeah, my concern is is that the, his abilities they stay, um, or they change so frequently that you have you really have no time to read what they are. To, like to you react. can't really mouse over a tooltip and be expected to read it while you're in the heat of a giant boss battle. Uh -huh. It's still very cool. I don't even think the tooltips are necessary. Just have them cast stuff and make the player react. Send army to spawning ground. Bring your troops to near. Okay. You did a great job. Only half of them are left. I do like how the bonus objective is a consistent defend. Right. It's not nice. just go and destroy this thing. I've just detected a number of overloads. Prepare your air defense. I mean, we could just meet, meet them here, destroy them. Yeah, definitely. Which is nice. Just slowly wiping our way over to the uh, the other shard as well. We got 15 minutes left, which I think is plenty. Oh, the overlords are super fast. <laughs> yeah, now they're super quick. I'll, I can make units here. And and you've got the uh, the warm up. All yeah. the all the commanders that are the by default on here have great mobility between worms, warp in, um, drop pods. You know, all those commanders are not going to have a problem. But as I I keep pointing this out, and it's probably unnecessary for me to at this point, but some commanders struggle with that type of mobility. But at the same time, you know you shouldn't have to balance around every commander. That's Blizzard's right. job. They said these three are available. Make it work for those three. So I don't think the onus is on creators to do that. Exactly. All right, I'm pushing towards the next tower. I'm guessing we have to do it before it spawns. Maybe you can make that a little clearer. Like what happens if you don't do not uh, destroy one of these void towers of the void? Yeah. Would he just be a little stronger, or...? I do like how he spawns, though, just to cause you problems. Because uh -huh. <laughs> every time he spawns, you're going to lose units, for yeah, sure. Yep. His abilities are crazy. It's a lot of lurkers everywhere. I thought I made overseers. They must have all died. Kronis is going to come back. Focus on your defense. I guess let's def defend first, and then we'll go for the last. Yeah, sure. Why not? I'm just gonna drop a bombardment right here, and then go and back up. Okay. I just detected a number of overloads. Prepare oh, going to our base defense. this time. Ah, so now they go to the base. Yes. Okay. So my question is, we could have won. We could have won before the bonus objective finished. I assume, I mean, in a perfect world, you would you would win the bonus objective, assuming that you won the, assuming you won the mission before the bonus objective completes. Uh -huh. I would just want to clarify because yeah, I'd look at something like uh, shards of core. Is it rifts to core hall? Rifts shards to, of core hall. Rifts to core hall. Yep. Yeah, where you have to wait for the bonus objective to spawn before you, because you can complete that map before the second pirate ship spawns. And I don't think you get credit for it. So I wonder if the same thing would happen here, where you actually have to wait for the bonus objective timer to complete. I'm gonna shield overcharge here. Yeah, he's spawning uh, wyverns. Whoa, those are like uh, primal mutalisks, they look like, and they're on fire. Very cool. We don't have much time. Kronos will gain full energy soon. Okay, so I guess we... I think Kronos could stand to have more health, honestly. Mm -hmm. 
bring your troops to here. Granted, I know we're only on hard difficulty, but I think he could stand, he, she, whatever, it could have more, uh, more well, HP. A little more health. Even may, I mean, the abilities could maybe do less damage and just give him way more health. Or just leave the abilities the way they are. It, it seems like he's got some really cool, really cool some really abilities. cool abilities. Yeah, it would be nice to see this. Trying to get rid of these overlords in time. A few of them might make it through. Nope, got them. Nice. Good job. I like how you have the, the flight path of them. It is the last Krunas. Do it quickly. Do it quickly. The Templar have engaged in glorious battle. Let the enemy in combat. Oh! Oh. We have our target. Get ready to bring it down. I think this is just a cool end cinematic. cinematic. Based on uh, your commanders. Based, yeah, that's a really cool idea. This form and falling ground are ready for you. <laughs> I like it. It's a victory lap. It gives you that. It gives you a little bit of joy of, of winning oh, there. Oh, the, the and if you, yeah, if you save the, the Zerg eggs. That's something I think that uh, that co-op kind of misses. Is really just that real satisfaction of winning, and this kind of gives it to you, especially because it's dynamic in what commanders you use. Now, Char's in safe. Cool. Very cool. That was fun. Uh, just some quick thoughts. Yeah, Kronos could definitely be beefed up a little bit. I mean, we were playing on hard. Um, not sure how much brutal, but that, that seemed a, a bit easy for hard. So I do like, like like you mentioned, you, you saw the overlords, um, their movement uh, path, which is nice. The bonus objective is nice that it's like a, you know, last throughout the mission. It's just a defend this. Uh, maybe you could even send a couple zerg like basic attacks i mean terran protest zerg whatever to towards the eggs uh because sending two three overlords it wasn't in any danger really uh, but we also had two pretty mobile commanders as well so uh the abilities chronos had seemed awesome i just would have liked to see more of them <laughs> yeah had an uh, opportunity to know yeah. what they were i mean because yeah. if you put the tooltips there <coughs> i want to read them but uh -huh. you don't really have time to Right. Uh, nor do I think you should be reading tooltips uh, during a mission. During but that's yeah. you know I I don't I think that's that's pedantic. I don't think that's a big issue either way. Mm -hmm. But I, I like Chronos in general. I think it's a cool concept. Kind of reminds me of it's a mix of that last Nova mission and also the first Zera Tool mission from Wings of Liberty, where every so often a hybrid spawns and it gets stronger each mm -hmm. time. Yeah. Yeah, you could even like give it more and more health each time. So. Mm -hmm. uh, just to have it last. Honestly, a, a I, I felt the difficulty so. of this was was pretty accurate to what I would expect from a hard difficulty of Blizzard with a level 15 commander. We say it was oh, pretty right. easy, but so. I, honestly, most yeah. vanilla hard difficulty is is easy now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that is true. <clears throat> so it could go either way. That's for sure. I think yeah. I think there's a lot of good stuff on this map. It wasn't overwhelming. Maybe one thing is you could stand to put more hybrid in the enemy bases around the pillars. You could add a, like a behemoth near some of the ones that are further back. Like the third and fourth pillar could have a behemoth or a dominator there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and just like we like we said, just mentioned like what happens if you don't destroy a pillar before Kronos spawns? You know what? Like we just get beefed up even more, or does it matter at all? So. Yes, I agree. I think it was it was mildly unclear what would happen. What were the failure conditions? I mean, I understand Kronos just gets stronger, <laughs> just gets stronger. But you know, at what point is it too late? I uh -huh. suppose. Yeah. Really cool ending, though. That's a really neat yeah. cinematic. So. I really that was probably. I mean, I don't want to diminish anything from the rest of the map, but the ending really stood out to me. Is mm -hmm. probably my favorite part. Again, you get that kind of victory lap, which is I feel something that's sorely lacking on a lot of co-op maps. Pretty right. much all the co-op maps. Yeah, you just get your just announcer end. being like, good job, commanders, and then it's over. <laughs> you saved all my bots. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You saved the bots, and I can continue being a drug addict. <laughs> cool. All right. 
Well, we will continue our showcasing. I hope people enjoy these again. Very important that you leave your feedback as well. I would say first, play them. Play the maps. Leave ratings and feedback in the maps themselves on, on uh, Battle.net. And also, you know, leave your feedback in the comments if that's too much work for you. You can just go ahead and comment on the video. I'm sure the map makers are watching these in most instances. So we'd love to hear from you guys. Yep. Just do it, guys. <laughs> just do it. Nike just paid us $50 for that plug. Yep. <laughs> Jay Perino and Deltrin selling out. <laughs> We're not actually, we don't have any sponsors. Hey, so thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. All right. Yeah, bye, everyone.